Your total is zero dollars. Let's get these in the dumpster. There we go. There's the meal. Chicken curry. Hey guys, we are back here on day five. It's Friday. Pretty surprised to say the least. Every day has just been something new and different. These events, these experiences, what I've been gifted or given in general is just nothing short of amazing. I'm here again at Chase Bank, you know the drill. But I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go get my coffee. I'm not as tired because I got a little more sleep today, but I still am tired just from not having caffeine and what I need in the morning to get going. And I think this is a huge, huge thing and I cannot stress it enough. In the morning, you're not starting your day the way you'd like to, and that kind of sets the motion of, uh, let's see what I'm gonna do, and you know, I'm just not thinking as clearly as I usually would. Let's go in here and get the day started. Okay. How's it going? Can I just get the best looking dollar you have in an envelope? Yeah, that's fine. Appreciate it. Can I also get one of those lollipops by chance? Appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Got a dollar for the day, day five, meaning that I have four dollars and ten cents. Somehow, some way, you know, there's magic going on where all these events decided to come up. No, I think there's always free stuff like this always going on. You just gotta look. Getting out of your comfort zone is super important. I think it actually attracts people towards you in a positive light. You got the dollar, I got some lollipops, and I did get coffee, so I'm here at the next stop. I found Kroger. They have a special thing on Fridays where it's like free stuff. I looked into it. Definitely something that you can sign up for and there's like a free item that you get every Friday. But there wasn't anything for this week unfortunately so that kind of sucks. I did look through a stack of coupons and ads that I had. You know I have a junk mail pile at home and for throwing everything away I actually came across a coupon at Kroger for free dozen eggs. The Kroger brand large or extra large eggs 12 count excludes cake Free. I could have totally used this on day one and I would have had eggs every morning for breakfast But I'm thankful to have this coupon. So these are sent out in the mail utilize those ads when you get them You know take a look at them. I definitely could have been having eggs every day here better late than never though So I'm gonna get these free eggs. Here's the coupon so I'm also gonna ask if I can get anything for free or cheap from Kroger. Maybe they have some stuff that's being thrown out or whatever. So I figure let's try it and see where this day goes. I have not had breakfast just yet. Just the Chase lollipops and coffee's a little off today. I gotta admit, whatever location I went to, um, tasted a little off. But beggars can't be choosers, right? So I'm still thankful that I have it and it's gonna be an amazing day. Here are the eggs. Kroger, Kroger brand, large or extra large eggs. They're $1.49, 12 count, excludes cage free. Thumbs up from me. I was wondering if there's a manager I might be able to speak with. Yeah. Okay, no worries. I'll check out real quick here for this and then appreciate it. Welcome, value Press one, 49. Help is on the way. I have a coupon I just wanted to input. Press one. 49. Your total is zero dollars. System processing. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh -huh, you welcome. Hi, how's it going? My name's Sean. I'm wondering if there's anything that you guys have that you might be donating or you know throwing away that I could utilize or something cheap. Kroger's on a zero waste system where we partner with all the food banks and local churches, so all that cool. done each day. They come and pick up all of the meat that you know we freeze them so the food bank can use produce, you know. Someone they said that with the rotisserie chickens, you guys throw them out around eight. Is that well, they like, use them for the second chance. No I got problem. the eggs. I'm happy. You Dollar know, a day. I appreciate your time though, and okay. I'm glad to hear that Kroger's doing that. Our zero hunger, zero waste. Right, program. right. Thank you. I just got home. I've got the eggs. Sorry, the lighting's a little off right now, but have a look at the receipt. Free. When you only have a dollar, it's, it's tough. It's not easy. So I'm glad I got these for free. I mean, I could have bought some eggs, but I'm trying to save the money so that I can see how much I could really save and get away with not having to purchase. Maybe I can do a better meal later on, or you know, in real setting maybe if we were struggling as a family and I needed to cook dinner for Sandy as well I have now 12 eggs so I'm gonna have breakfast real quick I want to boil like two eggs and have some energy got one here just put that on medium for like six to seven minutes boiling away two. There we have 
have it. Two boiled eggs. Time for breakfast. So hot. Remember the IHOP bag? I think I have one salt and steam from the silverware. Yes! Salt, pepper, baby. I'm gonna save as much of the salt as I can. I need to cut my sodium intake anyways. Breakfast. There we go. I could have plated that a little better right now. Let's eat. Oh yeah. I don't know. I think free food just tastes better. Just soak up some of that pepper in the plate. Peppered eggs. Mmm. Last bite. Breakfast has been served. So I'm back here for lunch. One of the things on this challenge that I've been kind of dreading to do is try and work for a meal. Just going in and ask, can I barter or do something clean or help out if they needed the help? It puts you out of your comfort zone again. And this is one of those things that really does because I'm in an area that I might run into people that know me or, you know, just people that are judgmental. But as I've gone through this challenge, I've kind of mustered up that courage to do this. So hopefully I can get some lunch here. I'm gonna go to a few restaurants restaurants that are in the area and see what they say if I can do like some mopping or wash some dishes help prepare food highly doubt I'll be doing that but I figured I should give this a shot you never know what will happen so I hope you enjoy this and you realize how difficult this actually is let's go inside all right here we go I'm super nervous um, no, I'm actually wanting to speak to a manager if possible. Thank you. Hi, my name's Sean. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, I've got a kind of weird request and it's a little bit tough for me to, to do this. If there's some kind of work I can barter for or, or give in exchange for food. If there's like mopping the floors, doing dishes, helping out, something. You know, I'm open <laughs> for lunch, whatever. Uh, I mean, honestly, man, I, I wish I could do, but unfortunately, like, it'd just be more of a liability. You know what I mean? Like, sure, if something sure. was to happen, unfortunately. I mean, I give you some food, that's for sure, you know what I mean? But I <laughs> right, right. Part, I can't necessarily have you like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, right, right, right. in the restrooms or doing anything like that. Just totally understand. Like I said, it's a liability. Okay. If you were to happen to get injured or something, you know, we, hey, we don't have that coverage. that makes sense completely. Well, I'm going to go up and down the street here and see if some of the other restaurants might do it. And if not, okay. maybe I'll come back and, and yeah, ask you for a free. Yeah, yeah, I'll take care of you, man. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, cool, man. I appreciate yeah, it, no Luis. Problem, Thank you so much. Of yeah, absolutely. Right, man. Thanks. Oh my gosh, so I cannot believe what just happened. I didn't expect them to say yes. Getting food for exchange of my work or, you know, like mopping or something. It's a corporate place, so they have policies in place and all that. But the manager was like, if you want some free food, I can take care of you there. I didn't expect that at all, so kudos to Shake Shack. I'm at Shake Shack right here. It's a really important thing for me to try and grind it out. I told them I'm gonna walk up and down and go to the different restaurants in the area and see if one of them might be willing to do this. I'm gonna go just up the street here and let's see what they say. Hey, guys are starting to get shady. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. So I have a very unique request. Try and see if I can do some kind of work or something in exchange for food. Just wanted to ask, sweet paint, you know, whatever you guys have that might need oh. some help. <laughs> I can wash dishes. Yeah, we have some trash that we think comes across, like across the street. And you want to just roll it across? Yeah, across. absolutely. Where's the trash can? I'll put it in the direction of it. It's just across the street at Underbelly. Behind that is like awesome. The, the bar. Absolutely. I'd love to do that for you guys. And if there's something else you want me to do, yeah. taking that trash is kind of easy, but you know. I'm down for it, man. We don't really have that much to be done, but we'll totally uh, put you up with some money. Sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, cool. Well, if you want, we can do it now, and then, and then we can do it after. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, can I sit anywhere? or yeah, 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 and whatever you're in order, I can just put the order in right here for register. Ah, okay. Wow, so I was not expecting that on this challenge. I'm here at the Blacksmith restaurant here. It's on Bois and Westheimer. They do breakfast, lunch, coffee, that kind of thing. A lot of cool beverages. They want me to take out a couple bags of trash across the street where there's a dumpster. More than happy to do that and they will provide me some lunch. I'm pretty thankful right now and did not expect this. This is breakfast and lunch. And then over here we've got beverages. So they have BLT sandwiches, Vietnamese steak and eggs, smoked salmon and scramble, steel cut oatmeal, green goddess salad, blacksmith plate, blacksmith bowl, dos tacos, enchiladas, chilaquiles. What's your personal favorite? The BLT is a really awesome sandwich. It's yeah. A little bit lighter than the biscuit is. Okay. Pretty heavy. A lot of people add an egg to the BLT, which is really good. Okay. Yeah. I'll try that out. Um, BLT with an egg. Let's do it. Yeah. Sure. Would it be possible to get a coffee? Yeah, totally. Sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah. Let me know when that trash is ready. I'll take it out. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, what's your name? Avery. Avery, Sean. Pleasure to meet you. I'm going to have to come back here more often.
So I've got the BLT sandwich with an egg on it. I think it's gonna be a little runny. I told him to make it just however he'd like it. I wanna try it. They have a lot of good coffees here too. It's kind of tough with the dollar challenge. It looks like the only thing I would be able to afford here would be the subbing of almond milk right over here. But they were gracious enough to let me do this and so cool. Thank you so much. All right, that's gonna be my job is taking out that trash. Happy to do it. Is this a first for y'all? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, folks. This is crazy. So they do like a runny egg, which looks so delicious. This is probably the best meal I've had all week, to be honest. It's a BLT with like some nice grain bread here, like pumpkin seeds, the runny egg. So thankful. Wow, this is really good. Pickled green tomatoes, masculine greens, and bacon on a molasses wheat bun. It's like a darker bun, which is so good. You don't know how hard it is to find greens when you've been on this challenge. That really hit the spot. Finish this coffee and then go take out that trash. So good, man. <laughs> what kind of coffee is this? It's kind of unique. So that's a Brazilian coffee. Okay, it's got a kick to it. Yeah, our, our company's called Greenway Coffee. So that's like one of our kind of like seasonal coffees. Yeah, is this a one location place? Yeah, we're the only blacksmith. Greenway Coffee, we have multiple shops around Houston. Greenway being like a parent company. We like have a full menu. Our food program is run by Underbelly. Chris Shepard has partial ownership over Blacksmith. Ah, okay. So this place is partially owned by the owner of Underbelly, which was a famous restaurant just across the street here. It's like nationally known. They've renamed the restaurant across the street. It's no longer the underbelly. It's called something else. Very interesting. Come try it out. I'll link all their information below so you'll have that. It's a nice little place. Cozy. I'm still mind blown. Let's go take out this trash. All right, here comes the dirty work. Totally worth it though. <laughs> you guys are too kind. So is this the job that nobody likes to do because you have to cross the street? I'm leaving early today, so I was like, you know what, I'll do this. So this works out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perfect. So you're helping me leave. Uh, work early today. <laughs> all right, as you can see, all that trash right here. I'm gonna go across the street and throw it away. Is that your manager? <laughs> <laughs> he saw me there. Didn't know if he worked there. Or... That's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh! Alrighty. And in here. Cool. Let's get these in the dumpster. <laughs> I might have to rain check you, and when you have a leaky one, hey Sean. And my napkin, of course. Thank you so much. Sure, anything else I can help you guys out with? <laughs> you guys are too kind. At least let me roll it back over there. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, this street's tricky. Done enough. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, plenty of soap and water in the back. Have a good one. Thank you. Wow, what an amazing experience. If you haven't been to this place it's called Blacksmith, be sure to check them out. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for giving me a job and letting me take out your garbage. That was so cool. I'll have to come back and do some cool videos there and showcase the food there. The food is amazing. I wanna go back to the Shake Shack though and ask for that free meal because I wanna do something special with it. I'm really full, but I'm gonna ask and take them up on that free meal. I don't wanna say that it's what it's for just because they might change their minds, but I wanna do something good with it. Let's go in the Shake Shack. I wanted to take you up on that offer if I could get yeah. something for free. Is that cool? Yeah, okay, cool, man. I appreciate that. Can I get it to go? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, can I give away, boss? Um, I'm lost for words right now. What would, what's your favorite item? Uh, mine is a lockhart link burger. It's a shag burger with pickles. Or like I have lockhart links. So Perfect. Know. Beggars can't be choosers. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate yeah, no worries, this. Boss. So I got the lockhart burger, order fries, and a large drink. Right? Awesome. It's to go, right? To go, yeah. yeah. What's your name, boss? It's Sean. S E A N. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. There we go. There's the meal. Thank you so much, Shake Shack. Could you take a photo for me? Back in my car that was parked at Shake Shack. Thank you, Shake Shack. I did appreciate everything you did. I didn't disclose to Luis that I was successful at the blacksmith just in case he was like, well, I can't help you out anymore. So I apologize, Luis. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Shake Shack. I wanted to do a good deed here. I'm gonna go find someone that I was looking for earlier. I saw this guy that was selling some art 
little things that had horn husk dolls. He was selling them this morning in the middle of the street on West Alabama. I saw him there just in the heat and sitting on a bucket. He was trying to do something and sell his craft. So I wanted to help him out and I think this is the perfect way to do it if I can find him. So hopefully we do. So let's go look for this guy. Okay, so I'm looking for this guy that I saw in the morning and he wasn't in the spot that he usually is, but I talked to someone that said that they, they've seen him. I decided to ask some of the people in the area and they did in fact know who I was talking about. I believe his name is Red or he goes by Red. Okay guys, update here. I'm still trying to find Red. No luck. Everyone keeps saying check back in the morning. It's kind of hard here. I'm, I'm, I'm circling. I'm gonna give it a few more tries and not I'm gonna give this to somebody else and then I'll have to make it up to him. I definitely want to bring him food one day. One eternity later. So I couldn't find Red. The guy I talked to who actually did help me out, he was in need as well. I want to help him out so I'm gonna give him this food. Are you camera shy? Yeah. A little bit? Okay, it's cool. I have a YouTube channel. You heard of YouTube? So You've heard of YouTube? Okay. And sorry, what was your name again? I'm Mark. Mark. My name's Sean. So I have a YouTube channel. Basically, you know, you put videos out, people watch them. Usually I do videos about food. Today I'm doing videos this whole week about living on a dollar a day for a week. And the whole thing was I want people to understand how hard it is. But you don't have to be interested. I'm here to help you. How about if I gave you a full meal? Be great. Yeah? You ever had Shake Shack before? Yeah. Okay. So I got this whole meal right here, boss. Awesome. Let me tell you how I got it. Alright. So one of the things I wanted to do was I went to a restaurant and I asked him, can I do some work to get a meal? That's a full meal right there. Okay. Shake Shack said I can't let you do that because they have liability and stuff like that. Anyways, they gave me a free meal. I already had to went to the next restaurant and they said, yes, you can take our trash out, we'll give you a meal. So I ate. So I went back to Shake Shack. The manager told me I can give you a free meal. I didn't tell him I already ate on purpose because I wanted to help someone out today. And I had seen Red selling his art. I'm a firm believer in, in when you do work, you're working hard, even if you don't make it, someone should help you out. So, you helped me out though. Even though you didn't sell art, you, you stopped and you talked to me. I saw those kids make fun of you. Hold on, I got more for you, man. Okay, great. I'll, I'll take all you. It's a drink. All right, thank you. Enjoy that meal. I will. Try to help people out when you can. Sure, with my buddy. How long have you been homeless? Six seconds. Could I take a quick video? No, I don't want to be videoed. You want to be videoed? Okay. I understand. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Wow, what a day. To follow up on what just happened, I'm in the Fiesta parking lot over here on Wheeler and San Jacinto. So I met this guy, Michael. He's homeless. I had talked to him before, trying to find this other homeless guy, Red, who sells art, and I wanted to help him out. I couldn't find Red, so this guy had stopped. I saw some kids go and make fun of him and push him, saying, if you don't have money, get get the F out the way. I saw Michael, and he had asked if I could help him out. I told him, look, I'm on a dollar a day myself, but I didn't want this food to go to waste, so I ended up giving that meal from Shake Shack to Michael to enjoy. For me, it's, it's a very difficult situation to talk about because it's sad. When I talked to Michael, I told him about the meal that I and what I was trying to do. He didn't want to be on camera and I completely understand because he felt he wasn't looking his best. This is very new for me and this area is very tough. You have people that are addicted to drugs, people that are homeless, people that are hustling, people that are trying to live some way. And I pass by this street every single day. I hope that maybe one day start talking to these people and getting to understand where they're coming from and why they're in this situation. And if there's something I could do to help, right? If there is, I, uh, that'd be great. But I think it's a lot more complex. If you just look at the area, you've got people that are, are struggling in this, this little community here. Definitely something to look at. I mean, these people are part of our community, whether you say it or not. They live real close to where all these million dollar houses are and some of these houses are empty and it's such a shame. You want this to be impactful. Like I said, I've been doing this challenge for what, almost five days now. I've been eating well. I'm blessed. I'm blessed and I'm very thankful for everything that I have, but maybe we can lend a hand here. Maybe we can, even if it's just a talk. Mentally, you know, talking to someone that doesn't get the 
opportunity to having that conversation, they're still human beings, right? So I don't know what it's gonna be. Maybe I just end up having a talk with them. With that said, I gave away the meal. Lunch is sorted out. I'm full. Michael is definitely gonna enjoy that meal. That's it for now. Now I challenge you guys, if you see a homeless person, do something impactful for them. You don't necessarily have to give money. I, I a lot of times I don't like to give money because some people spend it on booze or if there's a an addiction issue. I don't want to enable that addiction, but if someone needs food, I was brought up to feed people, to help people whenever you can. Enough rambling for me, I'll see you for dinner. I'm back, it is now 7.42, it's almost sunset. I did some research and I found that religious places are also a very good source of finding a free meal. There's churches, there's temples and mosques. If you haven't been to a mosque, this is a place of worship for Muslims. I've never been to a mosque actually. I've grown up with some of my closest friends being Muslim, my family being from Singapore and Malaysia where you have a lot of multicultural people and so you grow up knowing people of all types of faiths. We're brought up to be very accepting of faiths and of all people. I'm really interested in seeing the experience of going to a mosque. The building, you'll see it here, is absolutely breathtaking. It looks like a palace. And I went to this mosque. It was one of the ones that people recommended in Sugarland, Texas. It is called the ISGH Mariam Islamic Center and it's located in New Territory which is in Sugarland, Texas. So Sugarland is in the southwest side of town. Sorry the sun is blaring right here. I want to go in there and see what it's all about and obviously enjoy dinner if possible. I'm really wanting to show people my experience because I think a lot of people they don't know about the various religions other than their own and what better way than to learn about that and do so with food. If you've seen my channel you know that I love food and that my passion for food has connected me with so many different types of people of diversity. This is another one of those moments. Let's get inside there and check it out. A little bit of information about Ramadan. Ramadan is a month of fasting for the Muslim faith from sun up to sundown. You don't drink any water, any food, you know, talk about a challenge. I've seen many friends and co-workers in the past go through Ramadan. It's a very difficult thing to do. Not only do you fast from food and water, you also don't use bad language. Your thoughts are positive and so I really like that. That's really interesting. Here, let me show you the building. So you've got a beautiful, like a palace. The sunset's just beautiful as well. My name is Ruby. 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 They always keep nickname. So my nickname sure. is Ruby. This is the eating area this is, for... This is the, right. This is the eating area. Everything is set it up for the table and everything. They have a free food, so you should be able to take your place. Awesome. Either your families or friends. Then you could go and take your own plate for iftar. And you could sit down and wait for the azan on. The azan is on, then we break the fast. And within few minutes, as soon as we finish, we run for our special prayer. Then after prayer, we come and then we all have to be lined up for the dinner. Okay. So dinner will be served and everything So it's like a small to... food here and yeah. then pray and then you come back. You finish it, you finish it and then you go for pray and then you come back for dinner and you have wonderful time at least a couple of hours for the dinner after that they go for pray. That is special pray. Okay. It's called Taravi. 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 Can you explain to me for people that are just very new to the Islam faith and learning, what does Ramadan mean to Ramadan Islam? Ramadan actually means the very sacrifice. You eat at morning, morning. which is called suhoor. Stop eating as soon as the, before sunrise, 10 minutes before ah. sunrise, you have to stop eating. Okay. Once it's sunrise, then you eat confirm, you cannot eat. So anyway, you eat something very light right for all day. You no know, water after uh, no, sun up, right? all day, nothing should be That's near difficult. Mouth. I had no idea. So, okay. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. And so my able to go in to see the prayer area yeah, as well? Yeah, you could. Let me introduce with my husband, Mr. Chaudhary. He's a pharmacist. Sean, nice to meet yeah. you. So you take him <laughs> inside the mosque, you know, right after you finish your so this is the men's area and then you have the women's area on this right. side, right? Yeah. How are you? I'm Sean. Sharia. Sharia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rasir. How are you? Ram. Nice to meet you. Ram? Nice to meet you. Have you yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So, got some, looks like dates, pakora, and samosa. 
some water here. We have this first, and then we go into prayer, okay. yeah. and then come back, and then there's the full dinner. Yeah. That okay. Is and good food. I can tell. I can smell it already. Yeah. Is it okay to eat now, or do you have to wait? Uh, if you want to join the rest of us, then. You have to wait uh, oh, I see, I see. Sorry, sorry. I didn't understand. Oh, you can eat. Oh, okay, you can eat now. Okay. And it's A Z A N Azan. Azan N A Z A N. So now we eat. Oh, you saw the date first. Okay. Of course. After fasting, everybody likes the rice. Of course, right? From samosa. Hot place. But we so this is rose water. This is milk. Yeah. So this, this is, is very ruach. tasty. Ruach. Ruach. Mm, it's like a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have another you one here. Uh, I'll split it with you. How about that? Share. I'll do the sweet one. I'll okay. The other one. <laughs> this month, Friday and Saturday, they give the free option here. Oh. Yeah. So choose off here. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. Try to stay. I stay. Okay. And her family is sponsoring the food today on her behalf. So please make go after her and we will also make go after her right now. We ask for all of that if she had any problems or issues that you convert them into good deeds for her. I love her. Alhamdulillah, good. Azim's mom. Oh, I see. Yeah, these parents are visiting. Oh, really? Yeah, That's it. We oh, met auntie at the start. He said, oh, okay. Hi, young man. How are you? <laughs> this is so interesting, you know, that you come here and they feed everybody. It looks really good. Thank you. Maybe we have to get some water again. That side is for the men, this first side for the women. women. So we have some chicken curry, some rice, and some naan. Wow, so good. I haven't had really good Indian food in a long time here. This is a real treat. Chicken curry. It's good chicken curry. Good? Yeah. Good that you like it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so this is the dessert area over yeah, here? Right, right. This is spoon. Okay. This is a uh, kheer or? Sweet kheer, yeah. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. So this is the dessert booth right here. And it's kheer. It's definitely a popular dish here. Appreciate everything here. This is amazing. So it's not here, it's actually a mango pudding. That's really good as well. Almost all gone. Okay, so we're gonna have some tea. It's been a very nice visit. I'm, thank you so much for this iftar experience. I'll have to go get biryani sometime soon. Oh, sure. And you can come as well. So, thank you. Thank you. I've learned so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks nice again. again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Take care. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Thank okay. you. So you have thank you. All right. Dinner covered. Friday night. Five days into this challenge. Still have a smile on my face. Belly's full. I'm going to have to do a challenge where I go on a diet. I was expecting myself to be on a diet this week, but that's been far from it. Still two more days left. I will see you for day six.